Alright, so here we are. The third place match for the Ukraine Cascade. That's right, missing that, that's right. And um Northwest Cascade and North Cat Pelicans. Calling this the best of the West. And here we go. The referee has blown his whistle and we are off. Northwest Cascade to kick off. Taken cleanly by number 20 of the Pelicans. And promptly taken in rather a knock on by the Pelicans. So, ball is awarded to Cascade for the first penalty of the match. And we will have the scrum down put into Cascade. Can you get us to start with here? Ball comes out, moves towards the center of the field, back to the side of the center. Meets a couple of defenders. The ball is out and going back to the right, far side of the field. And again, met by a couple of defenders after we a couple of yards. Ball comes back to the inside, utilizing a number of short runs, short passes, and a chip over the top that's rolling into the tri zone, tri -zone and out the back of the tri zone. Effectively shielded by the Pelican player and escorted out of the back of the tri zone without touching it and without. More crucially, allowing the pursuing attacking player to dot it down for a try, which he was actually trying to get in there and do that. So, great heads up play. And we are going to bring it out for the scrum. Pelicans have the ball. Ball is in, out the back. Taken ahead by the nine, kicked ahead into space, and it's bouncing to the near side of the field, but picked up by Cascade. Nearly charged down and successfully recovered by number five, who kicked it ahead to himself, passed to the inside, passed again to the edge, thrown back inside on the corner. One hand dummy pass and dotted down for a try. Waiting the conversion. We're out here on the corner. It's to be Scott Packbush taking those conversion kicks. Here he's up. And unsuccessful, I believe. I did not see an indication that it was successful. And in the absence of that, I believe that means it was not. Successful. So five to zero to Cascade. And the kick is away. Fielded by the Pelicans. And ran back up the far sideline. Referee has indicated a knock on. And ball to the Pelicans.
ball is put in at the scrum. And coming out the back, off by 9 to 10, to the center, again through the hands, to the winger. Looking for space, kind of back to the side, brought down. And looking to the center of the field. And now moving back to the far side of the field. And it can maintain possession. Showing the pass, doesn't give it, hits the gap, cuts another. And he's tripped up, but it's brought down, brought down um, in a dangerous manner. Sure he's reaching for his pocket. Give him to number five for the high tackle. Pelican oh, takes the quick tap option, dummy pass, and opens a gap, running for space. Eventually bundled up, manages to maintain possession of the ball, nearly stripped of it in the tackle. Very strong player, and working the ball to the edges, all the way to the corner, and in for a try. Number 11 for the Pelicans, very strong runner, scoring another try. Kick to be taken by Jonathan Summers, number 21. It's going to utilize a full amount of space. Right there by the 22 meter mark. Increasing his angle, but also increasing his distance. Unsuccessful. Well, short. Looks like I had a bit of backspin. Looked like a. Might have been using a wedge. Needed a short iron instead. But regardless, Pelicans are on the board. And 7 to 5 is the score. And kick is away. Nice and high. Plenty of in time. Brings it down at the 22, jukes one. Runs through about two attempted tackles there. And spits it out to the left. Drops it down under the uprights for a try. Number of missed tackles and unsuccessful attempts. Couple of great cuts by the ball runners and staying in support. Didn't see an indication from the touch thread, so again, I'm not sure whether or not that was successful. Okay. Yeah, this picks up a fleet passing gap at 40 yards. Kick is away. And taken cleanly by the Pelican. Coming back to the center of the field. And the referee has indicated a penalty. And knocked on by the Pelican, so the ball will be awarded to Cascade. We will have a scrum. Inside the Pelicans 22, so we're very much in an attacking position. Scrum half picks it up, but it's swung down. Swarmed over by the defense, eventually cleared out in the rock. Quick one take. Back to the center of the field. Now looking to work it right. Through the hands. Trying to support players up on the right. Gets it back inside. Looks to be knocked into touch. Find the Pelicans. 
Northwest Cascade to have you throwing at the line out and just be started. The three is indicated penalty. Not straight on the throw, so option two to call things. Change of fortune. And we're using it now in the center of the field, trying to break a gap. Offloads to a support player, runs straight into contact. Looks like Cascade might be trying to strip in the tackle. First thing through, a couple of defenders, eventually brought down. In the center of the field, working to the far side. Looking the ball left to right as we are orientated, now coming back to the left, to the center of the field. Pretty stiff defense, not really allowing him to go anywhere, other than left and right. Looking for a gap, running behind players. Pass back to the inside on the short. Being held up in the, in the tackle a bit. Eventually brought down the ground. Stolen by a cascade and ran back. Number of quick passes. Now swinging it wide. Through the hands as quickly as possible. And to the last man on the end, the referee has indicated a forward pass and has called time. I do uh, that is half. As we begin to start this second half of the third place match between North Bell Pelicans and Northwest Cascade. Cascade up with the lead right now. In the second half. Receiving the ball. Feel it cleanly, but um, an intercepted attempt didn't go as planned for the Pelicans, so they're free to knock on, giving the ball to Northwest Cascade and put in for the scrum. Been striking them all. Or in the penalty for the referee. Ball is put in by the Pelicans. And a very strong scrum. Comes back to the center of the field through the hands once, twice. Sends it wide. Has another runner to the far. Devon on the outside edge. And gets carried into the touch. In by Northwest Cascade. And ball to the Cascade team for the throw. Uh, line out here. Drops down, swings it wide, back to the far side of the field, breaks the tackle, gets an offload. And again. The players fighting to strip the ball there. Cascade manages to maintain possession, but are driven back in a pretty strong tackle. And 
I like to kick it forward straight into the hands of the Pelican player who falls on the ground. And couldn't tell if he quite maintained possession or looks like he might have knocked it off. Then he went to round. So it'll be a put in shoot scrum by Northwest Cascade. Just outside their 22 and they own half of the field. Pelicans couldn't pack here. Granted, they win the scrum. Driving it forward, and ball comes out, coming around the left side. Near side of the field, wide open, and then covering that Jonathan Sanders is chasing him down rapidly. Eventually, gets over top of him. And support players there to cover. Quick pass inside. Cascade committing plenty of numbers to the breakdown. Pelican is looking to stay in formation on defense. Uh, attempted to kick, but whiffed on it. And so the ball stayed in place. File on by the Pelicans. And the offsides. Uh, coming in from the side is a call from the referee. So ball to the Pelicans. Quick tap. And a chip overhead goes to hand for Cascade. He passes it to the far side of the field, running along the sideline, attempting to use speed to get behind the defenders, but is not able to. Eventually brought down. Defense is formed. Starting to come back to the other side of the field. Looking to go wide. Plenty of space for him to work with. Slips and falls down. And is eventually brought down and dragged out and recycled. Number of short, quick passes. Looking to defend. Manages to break the arm tackle and three for a try. As we come closer to the end of the match, looks like we have a number of replacements coming on. Up, nice and high. And then hang time drops down to Preston Burgess to grab hold of. And he ends up being taken down. Maintaining possession of the Pelicans through the hands. And runs into contact. And rough is one. Offloaded successfully. And through the hands again to the outside, far side of the field, breaking free. Breaking open, outrunning many of his defenders, now pass to the inside, but it gets just off the fingertips of the Pelican player, and it's become a turnover that's becoming run back in their direction pretty quickly, looking to use the sideline, and dots it down. I'll see it on the scoreboard once again. successful. Another keeper to try for Northwest Cascade, leading the North Cal Pelicans in this one. Okay. 
Let's give the kick away. Sends it up nice and high. And again, Preston Burgess catches it, able to make a man miss. Runs into contact, drags in with him, and eventually is taken down to the ground. Pulled out by Sam Perello to Jonathan Summers. Continuing to work the ball. Referee has indicated a high tackle has occurred. So the ball to the Pelicans must be taken from the mark. So just going to make sure that happens. Drop back. Off we go. 23. Moving, slicing, dicing. And eventually brought down. Referee has penalized Cascade for leaving their feet at the breakdown area. Is considered dangerous play. Quick tap and they're off again. Working the ball through the hands towards the sideline. Rumbling forward is Sam Ferreira and out to the backs through the hands once again into contact. And it looks like some pretty heavy action at the breakdown. Eventually won and maintained by the Pelicans with a wide pass from the center of the field to the far outside. Preston Burgess catches it successfully, makes a couple of would-be tacklers miss, and is eventually brought down short of the try line. But very much threatening. A high pass, bounces overhead, picked up by a Pelican, um, driven to ground, still maintaining possession, but moving the ball from left to right. Lost a bit of yards but are still, still pushing forward and looking very dangerous. And again, a wide open pass over the top of everyone's head, driving towards the try line, unable to break the try line is Preston, but Pelicans keep the ball. Continuing to drive forward, strong run by 23, brought down on the tackle. Referee has indicated penalty offsides by Offside by Northwest Cascade, uh, rather in from the side. And so, penalty of the Pelicans, quick tap, driving forward, and taking in touch, and that effectively ends the match.